Hello everybody, this is Scarecrow, and today we're going to play Super Bomberman. That's right, the Bomberman series for the Super Nintendo. For those of you who aren't aware, Bomberman's a pretty old series. I believe it started in the mid-80s. It's actually pretty old. And what it is, is a series of adventure kind of puzzle, but not really puzzle, just kind of screen clearing games. And so what we have here, we got a little bomber man. You can go around dropping bombs, clear some stuff out, hopefully get some items. And as we get more items, we can talk more about the more advanced stuff that comes along with getting access to those items. Right now though, we just desperately need to get anything. Ooh, flame, there we go. Flame increases the size of your explosions. Pretty nice. I don't think we're going to catch him with that. Just want to hold them off until I can get him into a spot where I can catch him. Ooh, bombs too. Okay. Good start. You can chain react bombs if one bomb explodes into another. That's a pretty good way to clear stuff out quickly. Do that a few times here. I can probably kill him with this. Basically what we're doing is we are looking for the exit here. And once we find the exit, we can leave once we've killed all the enemies. And there we go. Now I would blow this up, but if you blow this up, it'll cause an enemy to spawn because the explosion will hit the portal. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave that. Probably isn't an item in it anyway. So one thing that's cool is that whenever you're flashing white like this at the beginning of a stage, you actually have invulnerabilities, so you can chain react bombs freely like that. You see, I had to clear my way all the way over to there, which was pretty nice. Okay, we gotta be careful here because that portal is right there. Hey, nice. Okay. That's great. Chain reactions. Boom, boom. Kind of want to give this guy a little bit more room to move so I've got time to get in and drop a bomb like that. Uh oh. Walked out of the way. Now you're dead. See, the puzzly part about it is realizing your enemy's patterns and how you can trap them. But at the start, it's kind of hard to two trap enemies because Bomberman is kind of slow. But I've picked up one skate now, so I am a little bit faster. And I have enough bombs that I can actually start kind of trapping things. Alright, well there we go. That's the second level. One, three. Once again, we can kind of start off and make our way over. Uh oh. It's about to wear off. All right, that was pretty good. Go ahead and catch you these guys. Ooh, that was nice. Two for one. Thanks for the points. Clear that. Look for our exits. Maybe we can get some... Ooh, another flame. Okay. That's pretty good. Now we're starting to get into danger territory, though, because my explosions will be pretty big. I could go down there and completely trap him, but that seems a little dangerous, so I'm not going to do that. You see here, we've trapped him. Ooh, kick! Alright, that's great. So what kick does is it allows you to kick your bomb. And enemies will get hurt by a kicked bomb, so it's actually a pretty good way to take stuff out without putting yourself in danger. I actually feel really great about getting kicked this early. Yeah, see, that was pretty good. We got a gigantic amount of points there just by running through and clearing them out. The alarm's going off. Got to turn that off. All right, there we go. Yeah, 
They actually cleared out this entire stage in the invulnerable time at the start. That was pretty nice. Do, do, do. White Bomberman blowing stuff up. You can see in the upper left I've got six lives. When you die, I think you actually do keep a lot of your power-ups. I think you do lose like a level of all of them. But you don't lose all of your powers, which is pretty nice. Hey, there we go. Another level complete. 1-5. I believe this goes up to 8 levels for each section. Okay, let's get rid of these bombs, because they're kind of annoying. There we go. Ooh, timer. I gained a 1-up, too, from my score. Oh, remote detonator. The combo of remote detonator and kick is amazing. Those little blue guys eat bombs, but if you got a remote bomb, you can just blow it up right in front of their face before they get a chance to eat it. Pretty nice. Yeah, I can kind of just lay as many of these as I want, and then as you push the button, each time it'll blow through them. This also makes it a lot easier to set up chains. Because they will not explode at all until you push the other button. One six, all right. Oh, that was great. Nice. All right. We're off to an excellent start here in Bomberman today. So I'm just gonna go ahead and chain a bunch of these together. Can I make, I think I can, oh, I'm out of bombs, huh? Four is my max right now. Okay. Oh! This one lets you pass through bricks, which is actually pretty handy. One seven, here we go! So I can pass through bricks now, which is amazing. down here and go ahead and take this stuff out. Ooh, missed him. Okay. We're fine, though, because I'll just kick one at him. Alright! We've already cleared the level! So good. Feels great. Let's go ahead and see if we can get some more power-ups. Mainly looking for more bombs at this point. You might think you want to have the biggest flames you can, but sometimes it is actually a detriment to have a giant flame. Okay, on to the boss. Here we go. So we're going to use this invulnerability to start to basically burst this guy down immediately. <laughs> okay, I gotta stop. Such a wear off. There it is. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Alright. That was pretty easy, wasn't it? Well, that's the first area of Super Bomberman. So if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. My name's Scarecrow. I will see you in the next video. We're gonna be going to the circus, it looks like. Bye bye.